The Narcissist Will Always Throw You Under The Bus Part 2 The Narcissist Will Throw You Under The Bus They Will Sacrifice You For Their Own Personal Gain They Will Say Harmful Things About You When You Are Not There To Defend Yourself They Will Allow You To Be Criticised Severely or treated badly in order to, pre to protect themselves from criticism or harm. They will betray you to divert blame. They will disassociate themselves from an unfavorable position. Whatever it takes for them to get ahead whatever benefits them regardless of the pain and suffering that you might endure as long as they don't have to go through it as long as they don't have to experience it The narcissist will throw you under the bus because they are out of harmony with themselves. They are unable to experience peace. They are unable to experience freedom from disturbance. They are unable to experience the state of not being interrupted by worries or problems. People who have the lowest levels of entitlement or the urge to want to take, want, steal or manipulate people are generally the ones who have the least and they are the ones who are most at peace with themselves. They don't need anything to complete them. But narcissists feel empty inside. They have a void that can never be filled. They can never feel satisfied. And that is why they have such a strong sense of entitlement. That is why they have an impulsive need to throw you under the bus. They experience dissatisfaction of never feeling good enough. They believe that if they can just get more or control everyone and everything around them, then they will feel better. But nothing is ever enough for them. It's an addiction. They are trying to find something outside of themselves to take away their inner anxiety. Being entitled is not serving them. It never satisfies their cravings. It never fulfills their desires or needs. The more entitled they are, the more it generates their intense feelings of not being good enough. The narcissist became this way because they had very poor boundaries in childhood. Their parents were too busy and self-absorbed in their issues to care. Whenever the narcissist wanted something, their parents just said yes to them to get them off their back, to stop them from causing annoyance or inconvenience to them.
because of this the narcissist never learned about limits they never learned how to emotionally self-soothe and feel whole despite the disappointments that they may experience in life The narcissist parents may have had the mistaken belief that if they gave their child everything they need, they would have a better life. Or the narcissist may have been a source of supply for their parents. They may have been groomed as being special, unique or better than other people because this reflects back a feeling of superiority to the parents. It gives them narcissistic supply. But this is a recipe for narcissistic entitlement. It is a recipe for someone who is only going to throw people under the bus to get ahead. The narcissist never learned the effects of their actions. They may have grown up believing that they are the law. The narcissist will shout and scream that they want something. They want it right now. And they will expect you to cater to their demands. They use you as a form of self-medication. rather than dealing with their emotional pain rather than processing their emotional pain which is why they never evolve which is why they never develop they will never look at themselves to realize what they are doing to you they will project their entitlement onto you they will say that you're selfish or that you expect too much which can be very confusing but it should lead you to identify that there is no real rational person inside the narcissist you are dealing with their false self this character who doesn't take accountability for their wrongdoings and for their false self to survive, you have to be their scapegoat. You have to be blamed for their wrongdoings, mistakes or faults. The frightening part about it is these allegations are real to the narcissist. Once they've lied to other people and lied to themselves, it becomes real to the narcissist. They can't tell the difference between fact or fiction. They can't tell the difference between what is real and what is imaginary. They're operating from their unconscious mind. They are not able to examine or observe their own mental and emotional processes, which is why they remain stuck in their subconscious state. They continue throwing you under the bus they continue displaying their disloyalty and yet wondering why you are not fully invested in them thank you for watching I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description.
coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.